uh, in search of the elusive unicorn, how does one even find an A-level service tech, and where do they go to find such a mythical beast? Ooh, they are probably not sitting on the couch watching Ellen all day. They're probably gainfully employed. What we've been trying to do at MIJ is encourage all of our dealers to post jobs up continuously, looking at the fact that they're not going to probably be sitting there like just looking for a job, but they may be out there uh, unhappy where they are, looking to like move. And in doing so, you can't just hope that they're going to like see your job up on 30 days. So we've worked with our dealers to try to keep uh, subscription plans or annual programs so that they can post jobs every month in hopes that they're going to find the elusive unicorn that turns a wrench. Well, and there's more to it than just uh, hang and hope or, or slap up any old job description. If you're actually trying to recruit talent and it's the unicorn that you're looking for, you better have a compelling help wanted act. Yeah, Alex, who owns MIJ, always says, you wouldn't go see a movie without seeing the trailer. So we encourage dealers to post up photos of their store it goes well beyond the store it's like what does the what does your town have to offer what's the you know is it the writing scene or the appraised ski if you will what what else goes on in the town that might encourage people to like want to live there if, if they don't already live there and like you said it's they you've got to be making it enticing to to them to like want to work at the store as well what's in it so uh the real world has even more problems than we do with job placement, but the <laughs> expectations are much higher for MIJ than they are for a, a Jeeves or a something.com uh, generic site. So you're, you're, you're going to a more targeted potential marketplace with relevant information, and yet um, they complain about it. And then I see the real world headlines, the great resignation where nobody's going back to work anyhow, and all these things. Why, is it, why are these unfair expectations put on M MIJ specific? It's funny, every time that I see a story that comes up about, that's outside of the motorcycle power sports industry where they're struggling to find help, whether it's a mechanic, but just even regular employees, it's like I take note because I'm like, yeah, this isn't a motorcycle industry only issue, excuse me, power sports issue, but um, I, I, I I think just sometimes we all get stuck in our own little world, so we're only focused on how it affects us. But yeah, I mean, everybody's is struggling to find good help. And that's why I see these fantastic jobs that are going up and I wanna figure out how we get more people to them. I mean, whether it's a great dealer job or something on the other side of the counter within the industry, they're, they're out there. Um, but I don't, I can't get in the people's heads to know why they're, why they're not taking those jobs because we get, Plenty well, you, of them. And you've had some pretty phenomenal OEM job postings. You, you want to be the, the Team Green technician and, and go uh, on the Supercross series. That job's been posted recently. It's an amazing. <laughs> I, I wish I was, mm, okay, 40 years younger <laughs> and looking for an opportunity to get in the industry. Cause I know. I know. It's like we used to tell, you know, like I would tell people, I'm like, well, you're not going to find a factory technician job on our website. That's kind of not how it works. We can't say that anymore with KTM has posted factory technician jobs, the Kawasaki Team Green job recently, and the most recent, Honda looking for an engine tuner for Chase Sexton and Kenny Roxon. Yeah, and people thought that that was a, a fake post or whatever yeah. when it first went up. It's like, oh, that's the, the bait and switch is happening here. I thought so too until I saw Lars Lindstrom's name was the one who pulled the trigger on it. And thank Lars for doing it, but it just goes to show if Honda is struggling to find, you know, those engine tuners, it's like it stands the reason that dealers are going to have that same struggle, but, you know, but that's why we're there. We're still that place for, I believe, the industry to see our jobs. This is the, this is the place. And I tell dealers all the time, you got to shotgun blast it to everywhere. You can't put all your eggs in any one basket, and that includes ours. However, we still are the place to go for industry and people talk when people see the job on our website they're likely to tell a friend who may tell a friend and that person applies to the job so just getting it out in front of industry eyes is all too important well, hence the name motorcycle industry jobs bingo